of the Pro Bowl. And let's bring up Kyle Shanahan. Now, obviously, we are fans of Kyle Shanahan and and the job that he's doing. Um, The 49ers have extended him through 2025. His current contract ran through 2022. They tacked on another three years. That's a six-year extension. Now, they have not given out money uh, or any of those details as of right now, and it was announced basically last night, right? Yep. Um, However, according to NBC Sports in the Bay Area, it says uh, it really appears... Oh, no, no, this was the Athletics' Matt Barrows. Uh, Shanahan and CEO Jed York actually agreed to the contract extension months ago before April's NFL draft. Uh, I think this is kind of a no-brainer, right? Yeah, he's one of those guys that you just want to lock him up. You just do. He's going to be good for a long time. It, I mean, I, you know. We don't see him, NFL Sean, coaches. Him and Sean McVay are the two young guys that I just think you're never going to be out of it with those guys on your roster. Now, I think the Rams have done an incredible disservice to Sean McVay. And if some of the personnel decision-making is his fault, then shame on them for giving somebody so young so much power and influence, but um, I, I don't think it's on him. I think there's a GM involved there too. That's just not making wise decisions. They basically went all in on a young coach real quick, real early, made it to a Super Bowl, didn't work out. And now I think that team is going to fall apart. Yeah. Um, the 49ers on the other hand, I believe John Lynch has done an amazing job working hand in hand with Kyle, with Jed and, Man, I kind of think they're built for the long term. I really do. uh, I think they see big picture, and they see every individual year pretty well. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm with you. Um, Let's see, Brown Yeti said, this is a mistake. How many times do teams do this and then fire the coach two years later? It's only one Super Bowl, and they didn't win it. Uh, I don't care about winning it. I just care about I trust Kyle. I just do. I I, think he's a great offensive mind, and I think he understands how to run an NFL organization. I mean, don't don't forget. And I trust John Lynch as well. He he comes from a lineage of fantastic coaches. Like, he understands how to be a head coach in the NFL, and he's also young enough to continue to be innovative. Like, he can change what he's doing, and he can learn new things and whatever. He he has never been – uh, a hard-headed individual. He can change nope. what he wants to do. Now, we can question some of his play calling in his two Super Bowls oh, as a Oh, yeah, you can go do all that all day long. But. but when it comes down to it, like, they built this team up, and he seems to be doing a pretty good job. Now, if if it were me, six years is a really long time for an NFL coach. I don't know. But these young guys, these young, it's too it's, hard it's young to guys. win without one. Yeah, once you get one, you got to get him. Brown Yeti said they said and trusted the last coach that got him there. Yeah. No, that guy left. That guy left. They, 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 they didn't say or trust it. They never offered him an extension. No, they didn't. The they, owner and him hated each other. Yeah, Harbaugh. They, they, Harbaugh never lost there ever. He did not leave because he could not win. But what was it? his last season there? What did they go? Like 8-8? Eight eight? Oh, Jesus Christ. I think it was 8-8. Eight eight. So, uh but yeah, like it's still not terrible. It, you can't yeah. like say you could never go five hundred in the NFL. Exactly, Jesus. it was a, a year oh, removed from making a Super Bowl. You know, so I. But yeah, he he and the the owner never got along, and he just rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. Like that's and that's been his problem. Yeah, he's everywhere. just a hard guy to get along with. The owner wanted a friend, and and look what happened when he left. Yeah, yeah, you got that right. So. That you know, eight and eight years, pretty damn good. Now, wasn't it? Yeah, I finished eight and eight. But before that, the three years before that, 13 and three, 11, four, <clears throat> 11, four and one, and 12 and four. Pretty good. Pretty damn good record. With two NFC championship game appearances. That's a and 700 a winning percentage. Yeah. It's, in the NFL in four years. It's pretty good. And remarkable. that 49ers team that he took over, that he went 13 was and three, trash. was dog shit the year yeah. before he got there. They were, they were really, really bad. And they that's, went thirteen and three his first year there, and then and then Harbaugh leaves, and they, I mean, they go with what Chip Kelly was there, and yeah. whoever who, I mean, it just it, no, went, it was it was a litany of people, yes. But and the they were personnel all his first year were the exact same as Jim Harbaugh's year, and they were awful. Yeah, they were really really bad. So, so 
Yeah, I, I, think I think it's a good move. Coaches are hard to find. You find a good one, you lock them up as long as they want to be there. You got it. So if he's uh, if Shanahan was willing to sign an extension through 2025, yeah, you keep him around.